So I now compare uh, the two legends with the F-150. First, the, the Land Cruiser 200. So you can see it's 78 inches wide. And uh, that makes it, you know, just short uh, of an inch narrower than the new Defender. So that Land Cruiser is 79.1 inches wide. And realistically, what that means is the Land Cruiser is two fingers narrower and the Land uh, Rover Defender is one thumb narrower than the F-150, which is 79.9 inches wide. What this means is, um, you know, they're all basically about the same width and uh, they all have good stability on the highway. Now, when you're looking at, at wheelbase and, and size, the, the Land Cruiser is the shortest, so it does get the tightest turning circle, um, but it also gets the lowest payload. So this means you're going to have a vehicle there that uh, you're going to have a hard time getting all your gear in it. You're going to start hanging it on the outside and on top. With the uh, Land Rover, you're going to have a little more wheelbase, and uh, which hurts your breakover angle, and it's going to hurt your your turning circle a little bit, uh, but you do get 500 pounds more payload. So that's gonna that's gonna help that vehicle along the way. Now with the F-150, it's a little longer pay, or, uh, wheelbase again, but the payload can go up drastically, up to 3,200 pounds. So, so you're talking 1,900 pounds more than the Land Cruiser. Now that is gonna be really effective when you're on the road. Now, Towing capacity, if you're looking at towing, they're all capable. The, the Land Cruiser is uh, 8,100 pounds. You get 11 inches of ground clearance, uh, you know, the way they come stock. And uh, you can increase that a little bit with not too much cost. The, uh, the, Land, uh, the Land Rover is going to have 7,700 pounds towing here in the U.S. and 8,200 pounds in Europe, the way they rate them. Uh, ground clearance is 11.5, but that's only at its max setting for the air, the air suspension. Now, with the F-150, so the way they come on their four-ply tires, uh, they're rated up to 9,700 pounds um, for towing. Uh, this one, the way it's set up with the 34-inch 10-ply uh, tires, you know, you've got 15.4 inches of ground clearance and maybe up to 13,000 pounds towing. Now horsepower uh, is power to weight, and, and so you get 381 horsepower with the Land Cruiser, but it weighs 5,815 pounds curb weight. So that, that has the lowest uh, power to weight ratio of the bunch. Now, you know, the, the Land Rover, uh, it's going to get you not just a little more horsepower, 395 horsepower and 406 foot-pounds of torque, it, it goes down in weight because it's all aluminum, so you get 5,320 pounds curb weight. That's going to help your acceleration times and probably help your fuel economy too. That's part of the reason you get that better payload. Now, when you look at the F-150, uh, the numbers are pretty much the same. You know, you're at 395 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque, but you only weigh 4,709 pounds curb weight. Now, that's a huge difference. Like, that's a... You know, that's another 600 pounds. That's another part of the reason that that payload is, is so much higher, that and the axles. Now, when you look at these three platforms, there's lots of people you see out there doing different builds like this one. Uh, you know, they cut the Land Cruiser in half. They kind of void their warranty, but, you know, money's not an object. They're spending somewhere between two and $400,000 building a camping system that they can live out of and travel the world. Now that uh, has proven very popular in the Land Cruiser uh, community. Now, when you start to look at the others, the uh, the Land Rover, you're gonna uh, you're gonna be looking at a whole different situation there because you can't cut this because this is a you know this is a an aluminum monocoque and and if you cut it, the structure is in the body, so um, that that's not going to be possible at least not at this time or I don't think. Um, but uh, suspension and stuff would hold it. Uh, but yeah, it, it just it's it's just not going to be in the cards for that model, which is a shame because the old one was. Now, when you look at the F-150, uh, a lot like the old Defender, so you're looking at aluminum body on a steel frame. Now you can do just about anything. 
the big thing is, is you don't have to cut the uh, the body to do it. You just pull the bed off. That gains you about 400 pounds of more capacity because the bed weighs 400 pounds. So and the tailgate. So, but you can start out with something like a pop-up camper. You could put a AT Habitat on it. You can do all kinds of things with it, and you can end up with a you know a full custom build. The other big thing is is tires. Now the Ford for you know about a seventy dollar part or just a slight modification in suspension, you can easily fit 34, 35 inch tires on them. Um, and because you have different axle ratios you can pick, you can choose, and uh, the vehicle is quite capable of turning them. So, and with the axle ratings and the brakes that are on them, uh, 34s uh, certainly don't affect any of those things.